Hey, welcome everybody. Today's project is a simple Arduino light meter using an LDR, a light dependent resistor that is set up in a voltage divider circuit with a regular carbon resistor and it outputs the value to the 16 by 2 LCD screen. So let's zoom in and take a look at the setup for the LCD screen in case you don't know how to do it. All right, first VSS goes to ground, then VDD goes to your positive 5 volt, V0 or VO goes to the center pin of your potentiometer that controls contrast. Your read write pin goes to ground. And in this case, enable goes to a D11. RS goes to D12. Then we're skipping D0 through D3. D4 goes to D5. D5 goes to D4. A little confusing. D6 goes to D3. And D7 goes to D2 on the Arduino. Then your A for anode goes to plus 5 volts. K for cathode goes to negative 5 volts. Don't mess those two up or you'll burn out your screen. Finally, the potentiometer. One side goes to ground, the other goes to plus 5 volts. And then to set up your voltage divider with the LDR, one side of the LDR goes to plus 5 volts. The other side goes to one side of your regular carbon resistor. This is a 10K and the other side of that resistor goes to ground. Where they meet those two resistors in that line, that is your voltage divider output, and it goes to analog pin zero on the Arduino. Then we just have our plus five volts coming over and our ground. Now, this meter is not the most accurate light meter in the world. Um, I measured using my digital multimeter, light meter, and we're showing about 40 or 50 lux difference, which is close enough for everyday use. But if you're a photographer, you're probably going to want something more accurate. An LDR divider like this by itself does not make an accurate light meter because the, the, the differences in the outputs are not linear. And I'll show you in the code how we did this. So let's go take a look at the code right now. And then we'll come back and get a demonstration. All right, here's our code for the LDR light meter. And the formulas and some of the values I found by looking up LDR Arduino light meter. And this fella here, David Williams, did an Excel spreadsheet to calculate values. So credit goes to him for the complicated math involved here. All right, first, since we're using an LCD screen, we need the liquid crystal library. Then we have our defines, LDR pin zero. The max ADC reading, since this is, you know, the 10 bit ADC analog to digital converter. At 5 volts, it's going to read 1023. Then our voltage reference is 5 volts. Our resistance reference, in this case, is 2500. You're going to have to play with that value to get it to read the right amount by using um, a light meter to calibrate your light meter. That's what calibration is all about. Our Lux Calc Scaler is 
That value is, of course, magic. That's one of the David Williams numbers. Our Lux Calc exponent is minus 1.405. Then we have our variables, integer, LDR raw data, float, LDR voltage, resistance voltage, LDR resistance, and LDR Lux. Next, we initialize the liquid crystal display with the pins. Remember I showed you that in the first part, which ones to set up. Then we do our LCD setup, telling it it is 16 by 2. Now we have the math. So LDR raw data is just the read of the analog pin. That's what's going to fluctuate. Then our resistor voltage equals the float of LDR raw data divided by the ADC max reading 1023 divided by the ref or times the reference voltage of 5. Then our LDR voltage equals the reference voltage, 5 volts, minus the resistor voltage, this number up here. So we have our LDR resistance, which is the voltage divided by the resistor voltage times the reference resistance. Whew, that's a lot of math. And finally, we calculate the lux by saying the scalar times power LDR resistance, LDR calculate exponent. And then we print out the values. We set the cursor to 0, 0, the upper left corner, and we print light meter. You can print whatever you want. Then the second line, we print out the value that we calculated right here. Then we skip over seven digits and we print the, the uh, value we're using, lux, and we delay for one second. And that's it. All right, let's go take a look at how it works. All right, here's the light meter powered up and it's reading about 300, uh, 280, 300 lux. I've got a little LED flashlight here. And I turn that on and we will increase. And you can see how the reading goes up. And then as we move it away, it drops down. Like I said, it's not the most accurate lux meter in the world, but it's a nice little beginner's project. And uh, it's something you can show your friends. So if you like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. I try and answer them all. Share this with your friends on blogs and websites. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? I'll see you next time.